Hi everybody, welcome to Twisted Radio. We got um Montrosity on the beat and uh he's he's partnered with dads of uh, they're not all here, but we got a piece of them that keeps coming back and going. So we'll invite him back every time he comes back. He'll be back. He'll be back. And then my, my host my co host will be um joining shortly if he's able to. So anyways, um Tell us a story. Tell us about you. Tell everybody who you are so people can... And that was my intro on beat. It's not the whole thing because I, I cut it off in the middle of it. Um, What do you think of my intro? I thought it was really, really dope. Thank you. Um, sure. Sub to Pro made it. And um, the hook is sit back. It's um, sit back, get high, listen, Twisted Radio. Hey, it fits. <laughs> it does. It's a vibe. <laughs> and um, yeah. SP will be a little late, but he's joining us. Good deal. I need my partners here with me. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I am um, Mistrusty on the Beats. I am the co-founder of Dad. Um, you know, it's a small label that helps those reach their dreams. Um. I've been making beats for the last 24, 25 years. It's always been a passion. Um, but yeah, I mean, shout out to Sunday Dinner for uh, bringing, us, bringing us, us all together and, you know, letting it just transform like it did. It's been a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful year. Yes, for sure. Um, last year and this one um, already. So, um, yeah, I was going to introduce um, Jerry Brown. He is... Um, I talked about him before. Uh, I play his songs, a couple of his songs, and I talked about him before on uh, Twisted Radio. And he's the gentleman that I said that likes to sleep at the um, studio and to record first thing in the morning sometimes because he feels like he's at his best first thing as soon as he wakes up. So um, they are. He is part of the legends, the four one nine legends. Um, they do Sunday dinner. Um, I invited a bunch of people from my page to there, so they're familiar with it. Appreciate it. Yeah, and I met such amazing people, and I met you guys all through um Henry Rich. I I knew Henry Rich first, and then it went from Henry Rich to um to Ken, then from Ken Rife um to Mr. Jerry Brown right here, and um, then I slowly I just started meeting everybody else from there. Yeah, it's these guys are super super talented, super talented. A bunch of amazing um beings for sure. I have mad love and respect for them. Yeah, Brown Brown is a monster. <laughs> can you hear us, Brown? Some reason my, my internet signal man is 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 weak right now. I don't know why. I don't know. It's working a little bit. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I can hear loud and clear. Okay. Okay. And I was letting people know that um, you're the one that I talked about when I said that I ha I had I knew somebody that liked to sleep at the studio sometimes. It depends on the weather and stuff, so they can get up early in the um, rise and record. I mean, uh, while I record at the Marshall's Granny Rock Studio, it's all the way across the house. And, you know, I like to drink when I record, though. I'm, I'm definitely taking a Uber. So, um, that's the easiest way to do it. I'll just stay there. You still there? I don't know what happened. Okay. You might have, it might have accidentally, you yeah, you might, you mute, um, Mike accidentally muted, I don't know how. No, I didn't have to, yeah, I, uh, that's what I did last night, I stayed at the studio, that's recording what I was working on this morning. I, th I think most, I mean, I think most artists would agree, I mean, your, your, your voice is like, way better than just when you're fresh. 
and it ain't tampered with no, you know, you ain't drunk, nothing, you ain't smoked, nothing, you're fresh in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. So, um, Likings, tell everybody for real, for real, like, what got you into um, making beats and stuff? Did you ever, uh, did you ever rap or anything first? Um, I actually made, I was more into beat making first. Um, I did rap a little bit, but it's, it's a no for me. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I, I just rather stick to the background and beat on the boards. Um, you know, it's just something about beats, you know, I can express myself as a lyricist can through the words, I can do that same thing through a beat, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, since like fifth grade, I've just been into just beats and like drums and sampling and but yeah, it's been a long time. Long journey. So what does dad stand for? Drums, anthems, dialogue. Okay. We bring all three to the table. Okay. So what's your passion? What do you what do you hope to um achieve with making beats? Just to make music to reach others and to, you know, make that, that, that music that others can relate to. Music of course brings us all together. So, you know, that's my goal. My my goal is just to make masterpieces with these artists. Okay. I can appreciate that. Um so let's hear one of your things real quick here. This is uh pick another path. With David King? Yep, yeah, that's um David King, dope kid. Um, this is his actual his first single. Um, it's featuring Henry Rich. Me on the beat. So yeah, I'm 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 really, really proud of this joint. I'm glad I get to hear it because I didn't I didn't get to hear it um on Sunday dinner. I was um growing through some things, so I didn't get to hear that. So yeah, here you go. We're gonna get into that right now. For nobody, it's just glorified today. And for what? For what? For 
what reason? What reason? You wanna die and be in prison? Okay, I got a whole bunch to say. <laughs> so, David King, this is the I don't even I don't even want to say that this is the most in the best I've heard him because every time I hear him he has a problem with clarity in his music and stuff. This is the cleanest I've ever heard of him and yeah. Henry Rich is one of my top 5. I ain't even going to hold you like I adore him. Oh, adore him. I, I support him 100%. Anything he's on kills it. He He's just, man, he's a, he's a, a dope artist for real. For real. He's one of my favorites. Um, So, and then you make, you make one hell of a beat. Like, I'm, I'm going to introduce um my co-host to you guys. Um, This is Fina Corey, uh, Chief Pontiac. The Pontiac yeah, Chief. Yeah, what's the deal? So the one right below you, that is Jerry Likens, and this is um that is Mastrosity on the beat, who made the beat for that song, and he is um the co-founder of Dads. This is Jerry Brown on the other side of him from the Legends, the four one nine Legends um Sunday Dinner, who um when I told you before uh, I knew an artist that liked to sleep at the studio, so get up in the rise and to be fresh. That's Jerry Brown. That's what's up. That's what's up. Heard a couple of nice jams from you for sure. Yeah. But yeah, um, David, he finally, you know, got into the studio <laughs> and laid down a verse with Henry, and yeah. That was dope. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I never heard him clean before. So, like, that, that was dope for real, for real. Yeah. Very proud of him. Very proud of him. Yeah. Um, like I said before, I love anything that Henry Rich does. So that was um, David King's first time actually writing too. Mm. It was a freestyle, you know, so that was dope. Okay, I ain't mad at him. So we got this other song. Um, I'm just gonna play it because I don't, I don't even know who sent it. It's called uh, Carlos Cool. I think it's one of his. It's it's uh. Carlos Cool, aka Wavy15, Lean Junkies. He from the Pyak, Michigan. Go check it and tap him out. If I said it, I mean it. We lean, junkie score, red like a demon. Strapped with the kill like I'm rolling with Keenan. We out of your league. You can trust and believe it. Them niggas been giving out hate. Hungry niggas trying to eat off my plate. What was you and I ain't know what to think. I don't fuck with you. I mean what I say. If I said it, then I mean it. We lean, junkie score, red like a demon. Trapped with the kill like I'm rolling with Keenan. We out of your league. You can trust and believe it. Them niggas been giving out hate. Hungry niggas trying to eat off my plate. What was you and I ain't know what to think. I don't fuck with you. I mean what I say. Grass cut low. Don't fuck with no snakes. We out of your league. If I say that I mean it, your girl pulling up and she swallowing semen. Don't pay me back, that's a broken agreement. We can't be okay, make your hell I receded. At the wrong table, it's time for a meeting. Heavy steppers at his hideout. Nigga let me to his mom's house. When she's scared, she call the cops. I'll cop them police is the best way to go. Where was you at when I lost on the road? I was the only one driving, playing my music. Man, I put that on my soul. The summers was hot and the winters got cold. Losers get nothing and winners get gold. I'm stepping out heavy, I get what I want. When pressure applied, you break it, you grow. If I I said it, I mean it, we lean, junkie score, red like a demon, trap with the cow like I'm rolling with Keenan, we out of your league, you can trust and believe it, them niggas been giving out hate, hungry niggas trying to eat off my plate, what was you and I ain't know what to think, I don't fuck with you, I mean what I say, if I said it, then I mean it, we lean, junkie score, red like a demon, strap with the cow like I'm rolling with Keenan, we out of your league, you can trust and believe it, them niggas been giving out hate, hungry niggas trying to eat off my plate, what was you and I ain't know what to think, I don't fuck with you, I mean what I say, grass cut, no, don't fuck with no snakes, remember 
remember back, I was working on kitchen. Special drip hoes gon' flock like a pigeon. It's only you when you make your decision. Long knows, yeah, we can get wicked. Yeah. Bitch, bad bitch, feeling relentless. Pop a pill, got me thinking about vengeance. Where was you when we started them trenches? Slide and break a coach, I feel like Davinci. On the road, if they say we went missing. For our photos, yeah, this link got me itching. Hit from her DM, I don't gotta mention. Real runs in this blood that I'm twisted. Coughing and wheezing, but run or resist it. Little sis, I like social distance. Checking on me, man, you all of my business. Praying that God got a bet for forgiveness. Constantly doing dirt in my life. God is my witness, knowing I ain't right. They catch a feelings while I catch flights. I had to spin and get it in a swipe. Sorry, yo, bitch, I need it for the night. Business is business, nothing out of spite. Never dodge if I up and sub. My niggas see him miss on sight. For sure, them churches, they plotting to hurt them. Life is a bitch and she coming full circle. If I got a problem, I'm pulling up with the straps. Oops, I did that like a purple. They riding my wave. I thought we were surfing. Bitches be choosing, these niggas be worthless. You say that you won't, but you never be working. I dropped a six and I did it on purpose. If I said it, I mean it. We lean junkies, pour red like a demon. Trap with the kill like I'm rolling with Kenny. We out of your league, you can trust them. Believe it, them niggas been giving out hate. Hungry niggas trying to eat off my plate. What was you and I ain't know what to think. I don't fuck with you, I mean what I say. If I said it, then I mean it. We lean junkies, pour red like a demon. Trap with the fire like I play for the Phoenix. Shoot till he die or he paraplegic. Said it's on sight, but you scared when you see me. Never been to hell, you ain't gotta believe me. I'm nah. pushing your trash and that's right where I leave you. Roll with my slabs and they definitely gonna bleed you. They got my number, it's cause I don't need you. Straight up, man. I like that. I like his voice, honestly. Anything that he yeah, comes yeah. out, he's so solid with. Yeah, that was really, really dope. You know, he wrote the beat, he was speaking some stuff. That was dope. He's really solid. Okay, so we got this one then. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, he wrote he wrote the he wrote the shit out that big. Mm -hmm. He's solid, honestly. Anything you hear from him, you hear a couple more songs from him. He's he's just his his tone is totally different. You what, what was it? What was what was his name again, Kim? Swavy. Where's he from? Pontiac. Fino, can you hear him? Okay. Fino? He's on mute. <sighs> no, he's administrator. He he he's he does his own thing. Yeah, he'll unmute himself. All right, well let's he'll come back in. Here he comes. I'm back in. My bad. <laughs> That's right. What where is he? What is his name? Swavy, right? His name is Wavy. Wavy. One five. One five. Ain't he from Hayek, Michigan? No. Definitely don't. Mob. Hire my team. Our team. Alrighty then. Alright, let's get into this next one that you did, Mustrosity. Yo, it's here in trouble. I've been feeling myself lately, but I don't know. I don't think these people even know. Fuck it. I just need some time alone. Just nervous, making feelings come up to the surface. I gotta ask myself, am I even worthless? I know my ass deserves this. Contemplating how I'm feeling worthless. Sometimes I'm heartless, my ass is nerveless. No reason to be concerned this. Yeah, this is something I've had to get out. I'm feeling mad when he released loud. My brother told me he had my back, I know he'd be proud. I'm lost in outer space, my head's up in the clouds. I can't feel my face, bro, can you feel me now? Told my family I would make it, I'm a cash cow. But they flipping the script, uh, boarding my ship, looking for my slips. But they don't get shit, so I said, stop calling my phone. I've been too busy working, I understand y'all lurking. That's why I had to sit down and close the fucking curtains. I'll get back to you, just leave me a message. Check it. I've dedicated myself to the 
this fucking game, what a shame. They thought I'd never make it, now they want autographs. Before I make it famous, give them the middle finger as I drink my wine. I'm wearing Calvin Klein, yeah. The only button I'll be looking for is rewind. Only thing we need is time. I'm a star that's about to shine. Hit them with the best lines before we outie. We getting rowdy. We party hard, now this room is cloudy. I don't miss my fake friends because only real surround me. I'm a young buck, I'm a young G. Don't tilt my glass, it's almost empty. Want some class, bitch, you know I got plenty. Time alone, I need hours, and I know I need many. Gotta give it all I got while I'm in my fucking 20s, bitch. Yeah, I'm just too busy, I need time alone. Let me work up in my fucking zone. Message, message, and I'll get back to you. Just leave me a message. So tell me, Mastrosity, what were you thinking when you made that beat? Do not disturb. Okay. Um, I was just um, in the zone at the time and just messing around with these um, vocal packs. And just added the beat to it. And there we go. I don't mind Young Tremble, honestly. I don't. I've heard a lot of good things from him. Um, you can tell that he's growing into what he's supposed to sound like at a, at a right. younger age. So I think he's got um that raw talent that's gonna be amazing. Um, I don't. I don't. My opinion is I haven't heard a beat from you that was anything lacking that anybody couldn't put something on try to stay consistent and try and, you know, to be versatile now, especially with working with so many different artists, you know, I got to be in more. So every day, you know, I, I just grow and just learn something different. So That's amazing. Do you ever feel that, you know, as a beat maker, do you ever feel that um, someone didn't do your beat justice for what you had? Do you ever make something and be like, man, I'm sitting on this for a minute because I don't think anybody will appreciate it? Like, No, I got too many connections. I work with too many dope artists. Somebody's going to bite and it's going to be something dope. Okay, then. Always. I can receive that. All right, so the next joint we're going to get into is um, Sub to Pros. Um, they're not going to like you. Yeah, I like 
like I wrote the. And you know, like when you think of a beat, somebody else could have that same beat and get a whole different understanding of it and write it out so differently. I see him brown over there vibing. Uh, I, I yeah, like, yeah, that, I, I mean, like I, the, I mean it, the different flow yeah, he gave. So. Say, say it again, Fino. Right, I didn't hear right. you. I said, I definitely that? fucked with the different flows he gave throughout the song. Like, he, yeah. you feel me? And they, it never got, like, simple. He made sure he uh, hit it with a different uh, rhyme scheme and that's fire. Yeah. Uh, to switch on point like that and not really, it wasn't no gas or, like, beat cut. He just went straight into the next rhythm. That's fire. Yep. I agree. This is dope. Sure, for sure. You know, I have personal attachments to him, so I, I'm going to support him regardless. Um, Just, I, I I know a lot of artists, and I've met a lot of different people when they come out with a cadence that's totally different, and they have a whole different style, and he's definitely unique of his own, and I've heard him do freestyle with no beat, and he can just flop off the top of his head anything. And I've watched him record and make music right in front of my face. And he's just, some people got it like that. They don't need to write it down. Some people got to write it down. Some people, some people, somebody else writes it for them. So. Hey, Kim. Yes. Kim, Kim, Kim and Chief Pontiac. I got to, uh, it's a little bit off the topic, but I got to ask y'all, what's the vibes in the city like in the short lines right now? Love. Everybody prospering. The routine's uh, winning. Everybody good. It don't matter yeah. where you're living. The the whole the whole Michigan culture is really uh at a up right now because they just had the uh Dope Boys Cash Show versus T Me side versus. You feel me? So that's that was that was like you feel me, that's legendary. And then Lions going to uh, the second round of the playoffs tomorrow, you feel me? That's legendary. It's been 30 years. Yeah. And then Michigan yeah. won. And, and, right, and Michigan won in the championship. Yeah. It, fe- it feels good, you feel me? It, it's like everything coming in one. So it, it's definitely an amazing vibe out here. I feel like everybody trying to uh, ready for uh, the, you feel me, the city to go up. Yeah. The whole, the whole state. Yeah. You may, you, you're probably, you're probably, cheap, cheap Pontiac, you're probably a little too young to remember when, when Barry Sanders took y'all to the NFC Championship in the 90s. Uh, I, I probably wasn't born yet. I might have been. I was born in 94, so <laughs> it depends. But I know they was in Pontiac. Yeah. I know sure. they was at the Silver Dome in Pontiac. So, uh, this is the first time the Lions, you feel me? Did some since they was in Pontiac, so it, it's definitely memorable. It, it it's dope. It's dope to be alive. It's a it's a dope time to be alive. For, for sure. real, for real. So we, someone said, go um, blue, go blue. Sure. yeah, Facebook go user. Blue for sure. So um, the next song we got, Matrocity, is Joey. You want to tell us about that? Um, it's just a quick little joint by Joey D. Um. It's to his kids, his son, so, you know, as a father, it hit home, so I wanted to throw that in the mix. Okay, then, let's get into it. Hit us on the 
the grass, still all the teeth there. I'm a gonna sign no matter who there. God is the top, yeah, but who cares? you're a little bit more intense when you make the beats than that though that was that was a little plain but it was it did its thing though like yeah, sure. um so we got we got my uh my guy Fino next yo this is Fino Corey same niggas and it's out everywhere go check me out You know when you go to church and the pastor starts speaking? I know we all have been forced to go to church at one time in our lives. When we go to church and the pastor starts speaking, and he just starts randomly just going off on a, a whole rant that he had passion to talk about. Then all of a sudden the whole choir is like, you know, hallelujah, amen, because he's just giving so much energy. That's how oh, yes. that's how Fino is. Every single yeah. joint Fino does. You want to get up and be the choir. You want to get up and be like, son. <laughs> yeah, that's, that high energy. that's exactly what I go for, high energy. Just trying to, uh, I want people to feel comfortable. Like, wherever I talk about, it's a song that you can get up and, like, you know, move your body to. You, you, you feel me? Bump your head. You, you have know, to. Shit. You have yeah. no choice. It's pulling you. <laughs> you feel me? So, no. You're like a little firecracker. Just throw it out there, and it's gonna go pop, 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 and everybody's gonna be like, "Ooh!" <laughs> you have to. Shocking, absolutely, absolutely. I like it. Anyway, so uh, we got Jerry Brown next with Any Direction. Um, we heard this yeah. last time, but we didn't hear it with um, Jerry sitting here. So. Meaning the message got across, but then a pause. 
just trying to follow it through. I'm holding eight balls in the box, it's an impossible two. So where we going? The pen has started anchoring down. And the words up on the page making the shape of a crown. Figure they king me, but thinking it's safer to give them notice. Cause I seen it in a dream and the fate of it is explosive to the measure. So I threw all the gratitude in the jar. We're talking highest destinations, the latitude of a star. For the reasons, I came up with a simpler plan. Now I'm graduating with honors, yet I missed the exam. I mean, it's summa cum laude with the fifth in the hand. While I'm pouring a cool shot of my decision and ran. And the fact is, I've always been a vision in man. So you either gonna be in tune or you gonna misunderstand. Any direction, I spit it whatever angle they want it at. Tongue is automatic while reloading and running back. Words have been the light, got a mahogany glow. I never planned to be a legend, I just started it so. Any direction. That's how I'm coming, any direction. Any direction. That's how I'm coming, any direction. I used to wake up with a scale and start weighing it out. Up a hand, a couple grams, and then my day went about. But never mind it. And trying to tap the memory lane. But when they paired me up with music, I just did it the same. Except the product to be sold is with a line of a pair. Right, fire, back it up, and then you write it again. The universe applied the nail, now I'm just driving it in. They handed me all the tools, now I'm providing a win. It's in the air, but it's the question if you see in the facts. If we doing the same math, then we gon' see an exact. Giving me guidance. What if I put my faith in a book? Strip the autograph and all, now I just take it to cook. Throwing both hands in the air like in a mission of guilt. They ain't agree, but I can see that they was listening still. For many years, I used to wonder how this mission will feel. I never tried to separate, but the distance is real. Any direction, I spit it whatever angle they wanted at. The tongue is automatic while reloading and running back. Words have been the light, got a mahogany glow. I never planned to be a legend, I just started it so. Any direction. That's how I'm coming, any direction. Any direction. That's how I'm coming, any direction. Okay. First, I want to say, hey, Pammy. We got a new, um, new uh follower now from our last uh interview Pammy. Uh, yeah shout out Pammy. hey yo last time we played this i put this uh your song on my list of bad best tracks of the night i kind of do it to myself every time i get on here just uh so i can go back and listen to the songs so uh i just wanted to tell you that that shit was fire uh it stuck with me Hey, good, good luck, fam. I mean, when when you got you got somebody that blesses you with a with a beat like that, I mean, shit. <laughs> God, that that beat that beat was fucking. I couldn't believe it when I heard that beat. I remember uh, I, you probably don't even know like cause I, when you first uh, posted that beat, <laughs> uh, Hop hit me up. Hop texted me like, "Yo, <laughs> this this got your name written all over." It. Definitely, definitely. So I have to ask you a question. Did you do like a sample from that song, Run, 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 Run? Because I swear I hear it in it. Nah, there, there, there was no samples involved in that one. Okay. Because at the, 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 the beginning part, the cadence, the beginning, it almost resembled that to me. Mm-hmm. Nah. Nope, that, that was all me. Okay. I ain't mad at you. Talking about- Cam, are you talking about, talking about the Jay Dilla track, Run Run, um, from, uh... I don't know what I'm talking about. Just the, all I know is yeah. the... Yeah. Okay. Jay Dilla and Wiz Khalifa had jumped on it. Oh, okay. That's the track she's talking about. Run Run. Yeah. Run Run. Because that's what it sounds like no, at the I'm, beginning. I'm, 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 I'm talking about Far Side. I'm talking about Far Side. That was, that, that was probably Jay, Jay Dilla's first, like, uh... Industry track was 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 a uh, round around the far side. No, I just know. I just know that the lyrics. Do remember? Do remember uh, the track I'm talking about? I thought that was the track she was talking about. It was run run. No, just the sound, the song. Can't keep, can't keep running away. No, no, in the beat it goes run run, run run. That it's a beat that does it that says it. I, I think no, I'm, that's, I'm, that, that, that's the exact beat I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that's a Jay Dilla beat. Yeah, but this is a, 
This is a new song. I think it's the one that he's talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, that's the same song. Oh, okay. Talking about the right song. Okay. Because it's not an older song, so. It, it, it's an older beat for sure. It was it was definitely made a long time ago. A lot of people jumped on it because it's just so fire. Oh, okay, okay. Then that's what I'm talking about. I, did, I heard a lot of different people use it, so I didn't know if that was the same sample. Okay, and 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 Brown, not not dissing you or nothing, but just because uh you can't you can't judge Chief Pontiac on his age, I promise you, because he knows things old school. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging Chief Pontiac on his age. Okay. I'm not judging old. Like, Cause he remembers like he remembers shit because his grandparents raised him. So I'm telling you, he knows some things that you wouldn't think he knew. No, what I'm saying is when I make certain references, it, I I understand he's younger, so yeah, I'm making the references just the the. To get to a point, I'm not judging at all. Okay, uh, I, I'm not trying to put you out there. I'm just saying this: the man's diverse. He knows things that you wouldn't think he would. So blessings, blessings. I I knew he wasn't uh any man no type of way. It, it was before my time. So for me to know it is is abnormal, especially during like the time of hip hop as it is right now. So I I just I just took it as that like, hey, this. You feel me? You might know JJ, but this was his first first shit. You might yeah. not have heard this, but uh, I fuck with JJ. I have to go do my research on a lot of uh, underground goats in my. That's why I put them in my book. And that, and that that shows your passion. The fact that you that you did that due diligence. Go. I mean, that's no different from if if you play a a Grandmaster Five track. And somebody tells me, you know, you may be a little too young to remember this track. Well, yeah, I probably am, but I did my due diligence to understand the art form that I love. Right. That, and, that, that... and that's all I was saying is he's he's really diverse, so I, I he'd surprise you what you he knows. That's all I was trying to say. Cause it's all love. It's, it's all and that's dope. It's dope. That's why he. That's why he's my host, though, because he's very diverse in what he does, and he knows a lot of different things. I apologize. <coughs> I apologize. Sinuses are killing me. So, anyways, we got we got um. This is one of your things. Seven Keys. Oh, this is my homie Seven Keys. He's from Chicago. He made a song called "Like Chicago." Uh, he been through a lot. You feel me? His story is great. So, in his music, once you uh. You know, tap into him and look at his portfolio, portfolio and his catalog. You, everything is start to fit in right. But I, I love, I love his music and his passion for sure. Let it play. Nope. I apologize. Listen, it might have been playing on your end, but it wasn't on my end because when I hit play, he hit play at the same time, so it'll switch and go repeat. If it doesn't play yeah. again, I have to back out and come back. But it won't disconnect because he'll be here. No, it's not. Nah, you play, that, 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 that reminds me of the time that, uh, what was it? The, we the didn't hear it. One joint. Yeah. And, and only, me, me and you heard a whole different joint. <laughs> yeah. And StreamYard Everybody does that. Out. It's weird. <laughs> It's a StreamYard thing, so let's see if it plays again. If not, I got to back out because I'm recording off another device, too, so they're not just li watching us. They're also listening to us on a different device, so I want to make sure it plays the right one. No. No, it ain't. All right, I'm going to back out, and then I'm going to come back. We'll play, we'll play this next one and see if it makes a difference, but I'm going to back out. I apologize for that. The stream here has glitches they need to fix.
Drake and Jay Z. Well, no, Jay Z and J Cole, and then Drake and Rihanna. How about yourself? Man, J Cole, J Cole has murdered every feature for the past two years. He's like on a, a Lil Wayne, um, 2006, 2007 run. You can't sure. just claim you the best. You gotta show you the best. I no, he, he, a, uh, he get on the track with like, you know, people who you know that people who say the best like Jetty Kiss. Like, not right. gotta get on the track and do better than Jetty Kiss or Eminem or uh, Nas and, and Jay Z. You feel me? Now you gotta go in and eat the goats. Right. But yeah, he definitely been turning it up. That's been uh, one of my favorites. Since high school, honestly. Alright, so look at SP's in the house. SP, hey, yo. How you doing? <laughs> what up, SP? What's going on, my man? Hey, y'all got the, y'all got the show on uh, Fourth Story tonight? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, Daddy O ain't gonna make it. Alright, alright. Alright, now let's see if it'll play uh, his song. felt all that. That was high energy. That was that was exciting. That was like a movie. Yeah, it was a bounce. Yeah, he told he told a story. I like that. Yeah. So we got uh, is it Zuck and Ken Rife, or is it Zach? Yeah, that, yeah that's um uh, Ken Rife actually featuring Zuck. Um, it's called I Don't Play. Okay. Competition comes and I feather they lose. I guess me being 
feet in the trunk is a better restraint. Hell bent on for telling the truth. No when I rise again, what can you tell me? I surprise you ten. And you ain't gotta feel what they feel. All you need is to do you and hold yours as long as it's real. I felt that with the beat, it really did. It did. Oh, did justice for the song for real, for real. No, both, both of them, both of them brothers got crazy. They got crazy wordplay. They got crazy wordplay. Yeah. Mister, Mister, two, Mister, two very writing artist. Listen, sure. I don't know nothing about Zuck. I don't know him at all. Um, but Ken is the '90s, you know, the late '80s, '90s kind of vibe. It's the whole thing when hip hop started. He got that whole. You, you also, Jerry Brown, with the whole on um, Father District. You guys, you guys got that. No, we went. We went. I mean, we was. We we were born when hip hop started. We That's just happened saying. to belong to the greatest era of it. <laughs> and I'm very airy when I say that, but we just happen to belong to the greatest era of hip hop, in yeah. my opinion. No, for sure. I think so too. I think so too. It, it started the stepping stone of it, you know. So no, I agree completely. It's it's different now, and I can appreciate it. I can appreciate the growth and the, and the change and how um why uh, why it's gotten. I didn't know until I watched the um Sunday Night Dinner that there were so many um transitions of hip hop. I didn't even know what hip hop was. Yeah, I, I hadn't had a clue. I, I, man, I don't, I don't. I'm gonna tell you what, Kim. I don't really believe that's a thing. That's that's not really a thing. That is. Someone I trying to make it something. I mean, it's, you you can make you can make anything something, but I don't I didn't take that seriously. You can't. That's not really a thing to me. You know, I had never heard of. I, I mean, I, I had heard of it. I've heard the term Hickok. I've never heard Bubba Sparks attached to that. Bubba Sparks can rap. He's a fucking dope ass rapper. That's the way I've always looked at Bubba Sparks. Fuck it, fuck a Hickok. I, I don't know anything about that. Fino, have you heard of that? What? Hickok. Nah. See, neither no. did I. No, and, and, and you you wouldn't you wouldn't and, and let me tell you, Chief Pontiac, you wouldn't you wouldn't hear of it because it's not a real thing. It's it's some shit that somebody just made up to make a video. Yeah. 
I, I, I'll agree Charlie with Moore. that. Because there's a Thomas, couple people Thomas in there. Moore. Go ahead. Thomas Marks was just, you know, a down south rapper. That that was his, you know, genre. You know, he was just doing the southern thing, you know, outcast and all of them. There's no hip hop. They even threw Jelly Roll in there. Like, yeah. come on now. But you know what was interesting is because, like, I, I've always heard the name Jelly Roll, uh-huh. but I've never heard none of his music. Okay. And so when they, when they threw his name in that, and the dude played the samples of the songs that he played, that, that was interesting because I've never heard none of Jelly Roll's music. I've just always heard about Jelly Roll. He's a dope artist, I think, personally. He just came Man, to Detroit like recently. My, my grandson went to go see his concert with his dad. As far as I'm concerned, they're just down south rappers. That's it, all it is. Not fucking, it's not a genre. It's not a. It's not a specific category. They're just down south fucking rappers. That's all it is. Yeah, they have a whole different perspective than what we do. Mhm. That's all it is. Cause I know I know a couple guys that were from Detroit and they live down in Texas now and whatnot, and they got that twang to their rap and it's not hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know. I get it. I get it. So we're gonna get into this next one. Um. So this one is "Wind Down." Do you know? That yes, "Wind Down" by J. L. Smooth, and he's an artist from Detroit. Okay. It's loading. I know Jay Smooth. Man, somebody, somebody should be in the club. Somebody should be in the club tonight. Uh, uh, I mean, wiggling off that right now. They should, they should be in the club tonight, wiggling off that. I know yeah. Jay Smooth, and he actually is pretty smooth when he when he does anything. No, nah, that's one of them joints. That's that's one of them joints where you build your steam up. You Trying to figure out how to approach somebody. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about that. You, you club. That's that's one of them joints that come on and you sitting there trying to get your game plan together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know him from my ex, but yeah. Um, so we got uh something that you did uh likings uh, is it status? Status up. Oh yeah, that's um, Vin Curry. That's. I wanted to toss in something different, something that um, then we don't get to hear much of. So this is his beat, um, and also him rapping on it. Oh, okay. Shout out, Ben. So 
Okay. They definitely remind me of some two chains, pink dolphin, like a vibe off that. Yeah, yeah. I felt that. So what what's up with David King and the straight faces? David King, if you're just now tuning in, we already played your joint earlier with Henry Rich. And his joint was dope. We gave we gave Gave all that praise. We all that praise. sure did. We sure did. Plenty of flowers. Plenty of flowers, babe. So, anyways, we got um, forever like, which was by Royal, who was on um, last Wednesday. So um, we didn't play the rest of his stuff. So he said we can join it in into this time. So.
was just something about it, you know. It'd be that, that come closer, so just come closer. Forever's a life, she like my chances. Forever like a forever life in advance. She made sure footed the streets, she made sure the quick sand. Hand to see about her, the motions like I'm the kid. Hot, 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 h
to hip hop at our roots and drown the trail. Stop spitting, let us go. All the time is a running way. we ready for the world. Heavy on pride, so where the ones who stand? So we keep out of this muscle, then brings out some harder and powerful history's mystery. Epiphany's consistency, too powerful. And labels wanted nothing but that. The revolution tried to run our voices under the tracks. Smothered our words, hope and healing. Hearing the gift of the freedom cry. Holding up the weight of our wounds beneath the sky. We was born in the building. Morning words with all the takes. We woke up the morning, left the masses fall in the wake. Put my time between the home and the coffin. Filling the moves of margin. But more than just the grooves of an artist. Yo, ain't nothing slipping through my fingers. My life, my flight began to change. I'm gripping to my 15s. I'm changing. I got caught
I fuck with the song. Uh, I fuck with uh, everything about it. I like the beat. And I like how they wrote it. I like it. Yeah. I don't got nothing bad to say about it. it it's a uh, dry to smoke and play. Like, it, you got it on repeat. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we got um ID Cipher's Love Drugs. He's been was trying to get that in here for a minute and I wasn't able to play it, so we're gonna play this now. Cypher, oh, he, he's a dope soul. You, you, no, you're going to hear more of that kid. For sure, I'm, I'm for sure. About, from, a main, from a mainstream perspective. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's, yeah he's, he has this slum village feel to it. Man. He, he's family all the way, so yeah, for sure. Um, I'm I'm about to claim Bamboo. Uh, that's one of my guys now. It's not mine, but I'm claiming him. I like his soul. So anyways, he was like, that's groovy. And it is. It was definitely groovy for sure. I can't see what that one says. You don't have to read that one. Uh, It said, Jesus loved y'all. If y'all didn't know, come to Christ, repent. (laughs) Non-denominational. So what are are y'all saying? He's a a religious rapper? No. Uh, He's, I don't know. That was just a comment somebody made. Then that I think that was in his thing because he's non-dimensional or uh, what is it? Non uh, 
I can't even say it, but he he doesn't hold no religion. <laughs> Don Demation. I, I don't know how to say it. I know I know what you're saying. Okay. okay. I ain't gonna try. <laughs> So we got non-denomination. There you go, non-denomination. But it was dope. It was next. <laughs> absolutely dope. So uh, we got Heat. Um, uh, Heat is by King Skunk and uh, Wavy One Five. They both from Pontiac. They part of the mob, and the beat was made by. Uh, uh, two Craylets. He's also from Pontiac, and he is the DJ DJ at the Privacy Lounge. Yeah. It's a uh, R&B bar in Pontiac. Feel that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't want to gang back behind that kill? No, I don't. I was too focused on the comment the person made, I guess. But anyhow, what was the comment? They just said they was Christian. Yeah. They were Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> but anyway, so we got um King Spaz Grams. Yeah. Look, I see the death behind a man in the mirror. 
38 on, I might see a little clear. Streets call my name, I act like I don't hear. Tougher than the concrete, she kill you if you fear. Man, look, I put a band up on his head just like Jason Terry. Only resort to vacation when it's necessary. LeBrody said he want a bird, I sent him canaries. AMG, BITC, bitch, be legendary. I'm number one and number two, it ain't no secondary. Count paper in my office like a secretary. Started with a gram and got the moving out of the gram and got the moving out of nickel. They got the gram and the 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 nickel. Started with a gram, got the moving ounces. If they catch you with a nickel, they gon' try to bounce you. You hop into that water, they gon' try to drown you. I'm tryna keep you on your toes, I ain't tryna down you. Started with a gram, got the moving ounces. If they catch you with a nickel, they gon' try to bounce you. You hop into that water, they gon' try to drown you. I'm tryna keep you on your toes, I ain't tryna down your toes, I ain't tryna down you. That was lit. That was lit. Yeah. So we we got talking about life next. Monstrosity, tell me about it. Brown might know more about this joint than I do. So I think it has hot and rifle. Talking about life? Am I on it? Uh, no, I, I think it's Brown and or, um rifle and hop. We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> well, let's find out.
they that was that was a joint that they done way before they brought me into it. They had already put this together. Listen, Brown, you probably were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, I, nah, I, I was drunk in a lot of situations. I wasn't drunk in that one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got... That was so funny when you said that. So we got we got Tales from the Hood with um Royal. Loading. Loading. Huh? It's loading. Sister wanna be an actress, but far from Hollywood. 
hard and traffic was the crackhead. Small walk to school, came quick to the accent. The time is always now when it's coming from my has been. Dreamt of a million way before we're young and has this mama told me I was something when she know that we ain't had shit. Started from the bottom, got some stories by the slum lord. Open up your eyes to the dirty that we pull up. <laughs> That's funny because I couldn't wait for it to end. <laughs> wow. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> he is talk about it. Everybody <laughs> has an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. There's nothing wrong with it. Honestly. Honestly. There's nothing wrong with it. That's our line right there. That, that, yeah, you guys need to get a hold of him. That's, that's Royal. I adore Royal. You need to get a hold of him. I'll have to send you his information. What are you saying? You don't like that? I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> you ain't putting me well, nowhere. You, said it. you already said it. No. Oh, you said it without saying it. I didn't know if it was going to end or not because I didn't know where the ending was. It was lengthy. It wasn't. I didn't know where the ending was. That's all. So You remember back in the day when songs used to be four to five minutes. I'm so accustomed to now the song being under two. That's all Those I'm saying. Never, look, Kim, songs were never four to five minutes. They were. They were never four to five yes, they were. I know a lot of songs four to five minutes. Hey, SP, uh, SP, Lightning, can you please stop her? How old? How take. old are all you guys? See, that's the thing. I know John. They were right? never four to five. They were never four to five minutes. There has been songs four to five minutes for real. Uh, they were usually under like four, they, maybe three and a half. No, there is songs four to five minutes. I'm not lying. Just no, like there is movies. They were rock. They were rock and roll songs. There were four to five minutes. There was yeah. no hip hop song that was four to five minutes. Yeah, exactly. I'm about to show you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw you on a personal note, Brown. I'm gonna show you. You can't show us. There was no hip hop song that was four to five minutes. I'm about to show you. Rock. There was shit like pour some sugar on me that may have been four minutes. 
Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Liking. Is this um? I'd I'd like to I'd like to welcome you. Yeah, that, that's another joint. Maybe Brown can decipher and let me know who's all on it because I have no idea, but it was dope. All right, we'll about to play and find out. What song is that? We don't know the name of it. Remember track one, track seven? We gave it names. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that no. one, Jerry? No, I, I, no, I don't remember. Um, okay. I have no memory of that. Do you know who it is? It's Hobbs and who? It's, it's Hop and Ken. Oh, okay. That was, that was way before I came back into the picture. It was, it was dope, though. Okay. So we got, we got Fino next. Just fucking with the mob. This on my latest tape, T Pontiac. Check me out. It's out everywhere. Uh, 
So we got virus by uh, Zay Janae.
Okay. That was nice. That was a good yeah, vibe. Really good voice. Yeah. Definitely got a nice voice. So um, we got T words. He's coming on for next Saturday. So we're gonna play one of his um joints right now. Shout out to you, Denise. I love you. Thank you. One to one of my favorite off the joint too. It's coming on next. So he does his own everything. He does his own mixing and um producing and everything of his own stuff. So yeah, that's pretty dope. So we got lungs. You want to talk about lungs real quick before we get into it? Uh, I made lungs more of like a like a high tempo uh, Cali vibe summer song. So just some like. That would play get everybody amped up. Play uh play it make people like start feeling themselves, you know, start dancing and shit like that. So it's more of them of them terms of a song. Okay, let's get into it then. I'm in a lung, flash of fun. Smoke this dick like a blunt. Taste this shit like a scum. Come on, take it higher than she ever bought. Teach them, but never touch. Get a 
need to see you in live for real for real honestly live is so it's so much it's, it's a whole different effect it's like hearing the song just half of hearing the song you gotta see it live and you gotta see a video of it for you to really get the concept i feel that because right. like you you remind me of something that's boxed in right now when i'm hearing it like it, it seems like it should be much hyper and if, if i see you live that's how king spaz is to me too he's like really when you hear him, it's like closed in. But when you see him perform, he's all over the place and he gets the whole crowd going. And that's what you remind Explosive me of. Explosive for sure. Yeah. So um, uh, we're going to close this out. But SP, I want everybody, you to tell everybody about you. But I'm going to play our song, but I'm going to turn it down. And I want you to tell what your role in, in um, Dad's is. Go ahead. What's your role? What's my role? Mm-hmm. Well, my role in that, um, I just, I basically reach out to different artists. Um, I try to book shows. Uh, try to get these guys on the radio. Um, seek out different beats for them. Uh, promote them in any way that I can support them. Uh, and that's really the gist of what I do. Um, Likens is really the man of this. No, no, stop it. <laughs> you are the yeah. brain. No, nah, I don't know. You are the brain. Mastermind. You gotta have, you can't do one without the other. I'm just telling you right now. Facts. Yeah, no, that, that, that's, 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 to be honest, no, it, it's really kind of like, um, some transformers type of thing. Okay. We're like, like you just yeah. said, you know, you need one without the other. Yeah. Like, I, w- I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now if it wasn't for like it's me and him. And I want to shout out Sunday dinner for that because Correct. if it wasn't for all of that, we wouldn't just, I, I don't know what I would be doing right now as far as music anyway. Okay. Like, I always had a love for music, but I can't rap. I, I tried to write some raps and stuff. I got like little one-liners and all of that, but I can't pin nothing down. Okay. Uh, and I can't scratch. You know, I wanted to be a DJ at one point in time. That wasn't cracking. Uh, but, you know, here I am doing this with Likens. Um, he encouraged me to start trying to make beats. So I ran out and got me a beat machine and started doing that and we was conversating conversating and you know 
it got to the point where we like, yo, let's let's make a um a label. Let's say, no, first we wanted to make a mix, okay. just a mix. And I reached out to a lot of people, and you know we we got a, a lot of people on board, but we couldn't get nothing together as far as the mixtape going. And then uh, we like hit the block again, thinking and like, you know what, let's just make a label. From that point, we just got with some of the people who was willing to work on that mixtape, and it just grew from there. It just, it kind of was like, if you you stack your money up, it starts stanking, mm-hmm. but if you spread it around, it, it, it fertilizes. Yeah, I feel you know, it. it. You know, it started growing, and that's what it was. I like that. Uh, you guys come out of Mansfield, Ohio, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Ohio. Ohio right now, but uh, yeah, Mansfield. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, shout out to the, the legends, the 419 legends, and shout out to Sunday Dinner, and shout out to you all. And I appreciate you guys coming on um, to Twisted Radio with Fino and I. It was yeah, a pleasure. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Peace and blessings, everyone. Ashe. Peace.